The Living Your Best Life Experiment, Week 29, Chapter 5, The Throne of Throws. So this week's chapter talks about how we're thrown into many things that we don't have control over, whether it's where you're born, when you're born, what environment you're born into, the interactions that happen around you, and that we need to learn to accept them if we're ever going to rise above them. By accepting, we aren't agreeing with ideologies that go along with the situations or the circumstances, and we're also not giving up. It's an acknowledgement of what it is. And by acknowledging what it is, we can get to the root of why we're self-sabotaging ourselves and why we keep going back to those same ideologies. And then he says, either you own it or it owns you. And all that means is that if you don't take the time to look at the root of the problem and really understand what ideologies and self-sabotaging ideals that you have retained from those situations and circumstances, that it will hold a power over you. And that by not acknowledging them, we fall back into those same patterns of self-sabotage because by not looking at the root of the problem a lot of the times it manifests itself on a subconscious level and you start doing things without even realizing that you're doing those things so by actually acknowledging and taking a look at that problem and the root of that problem is where you start to get some clarity and then it talks about how As humans, we're more inclined to go back to the struggle because it's what we're used to and what we're comfortable with. So when you obtain your goals and your fantasies, how good can you handle it? How long can you handle staying at that plateau before you start falling back into your self-sabotaging ways and start going back to that struggle? And then he talks about how we blame people for these situations and these circumstances and how those situations and circumstances have limited us and therefore these people have limited us. And he talks about we need to stop blaming everybody, including ourselves, for where our life has landed and understanding that we have a choice of where it goes from here that it's your choice to either hold on to the blame and stay in your self-sabotaging cycles or to let it go and start moving ahead and working towards a more balanced, peaceful life. And then he asks you to stop and take a look and see what you have been justifying with blame. What scenarios have you come up against where you can either directly or indirectly Put the blame back onto a situation that you've been in or the circumstances that you come from or not having the resources that you think that you need. Then he talks about once you figure that out, take the energy that you've been using to blame and justify and start using it on your own life. Start bringing that energy back to yourself and putting it towards yourself and your goals of working towards a more balanced, peaceful life. So this week's chapter is pretty relatable. I can think back into my past of situations where I used blame and justification for not being able to do things. One thing that is very A very big one would be my anxiety that for a lot of years it was very easy to lay blame for the cause of my anxiety but at the end of the day laying that blame didn't accomplish anything all it accomplished was showing me why I had anxiety but it didn't help with the how I was supposed to live with anxiety and Putting aside those blames and accepting that this is the situation and being able to look at it from that point of view is when I really started making progress. 
The other thing I found this chapter insightful for was thinking back to conversations I've had in the past with people when they say that they can't do things and relate it back to circumstances or situations that they've come up against. Being somebody who's had a lot of different situations that I've had to deal with in my life, I always found it tough to understand how somebody could say that. Because for a lot of things in my life, I always took on the mentality that it's not about whether or not I can do them, it's a matter of how I am going to do them. And not being really able to relate to those conversations. And I found that this chapter just really nails it home to where those people are coming from and gives me a better understanding. So overall, for myself, I feel like this chapter hasn't had a huge impact on my life. I feel like I don't lay blame or justification on a lot of things um, that I can usually point out pretty quickly when I'm doing that and correct myself. By being able to point out that this is the situation now and what do we need to do to deal with it, I feel that when we focus on things that we can't control, like the actions of people or circumstances, then we're in a position where we can't do anything and we really need to focus on the things that we can control. So until next week, I hope everybody has a great week. Bye.